Hey everybody, Chris back for another video here on Chef Wannabe's Life. It is the season for stocking stuffers. Hey friends, so I want to share with you my big bag of stocking stuffers. Now, it's just some ideas on a budget and these stocking stuffers literally are $5 and below. I try not to spend more than $5 an item for a stocking stuffer. So, to let you know, I always like to do food in stocking stuffers and things that generally wear out that need replenished or you can never have too many of. I... I think I found some fun things in here and I want to share them with you. It's also the season for treats, right? So let me make sure my bag's not going to fall here. We have uh, a big humongous candy bar. How can you even go wrong with that, right? Time for treats. Also, I think these are from five below. Makeup brushes. I picked these up and I actually picked one up for myself, but these are not for me. I mean, who can have too many makeup brushes? Also, how about a cute graphic tee? To me, a graphic tee or socks are perfect to roll up into the toe of the stocking. This one happens to say, it's funny how you think I'm listening. It's funny how you think I'm listening. So, graphic tee is perfect and so many stores have them for so 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 inexpensive so inexpensive now this this is just funny so this year i'm getting my husband i'm making him one of his gifts is going to be a big a box of goodies just things that only he likes and now this is something i like too but how ginormous is this summer sausage? I'll tell you how ginormous. It's two pounds. Okay, my husband likes summer sausage like ants like a picnic. And clearly this will last him several movie nights. But a smaller one of these or a big one of these, um, they're this was regular $10. It was on sale for $4.99, so I picked one up for him. And oh, that literally, this will make his whole Christmas. That's, he's so fine. Of course, you can't go wrong with socks, fuzzy socks. And this is a, they're called Snugadoo. They're from Dollar Tree. And here's the thing. Here is my one gripe. And actually, I should have picked up because I know they have them from time to time, some with grippers on the bottom. Because can I tell you about the more than once I have walked into my kitchen with a pair of these on and literally just face planted, more like butt planted. Fuzzy socks can never go wrong. Um, these are from a stocking. How about some beef jerky? I don't know anybody who doesn't love beef jerky. Next is, oh, I think this is a great one actually. How about like some flavored hot cocos? This is Arctic white, white chocolate, hot cocoa mix, and this is mint and chocolate hot cocoa mix. Then, for the ladies in your life, how about a fun holiday kitchen utensil? more beef jerky. 
I found this. Okay, you guys, let me preface this with my husband is your dream gift giver. I mean, he stuffs stockings to the gills. He does every holiday, every birthday. I mean, he is a gift giver and he loves it. But, and he always gets really great things. That's not the issue here. The issue is I saw this and I wanted it. So I'm going to ask him to put it in my stocking and he'll probably be highly offended. But, yeah. So anyway, how cute is this beanie? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. I mean, how cute is it? That's, that's what I'm talking about. Next, we have, <laughs> I'll put these two together. Since they are... <laughs> My husband's a germaphobe, so you can imagine what the coronavirus is doing to him. So, these. This is a Star Wars hand sanitizer, Mandalorian. Of course, it has baby Yoda. And then he can just refill that from our big bottle at home. And then I found this. And this, in case you wonder, is a dollar from the Target dollar spot, playground, whatever it is. And it is a hands-free tool. It says open door handles, push switches, switches, press elevators or ATM buttons, and pull levers. Very cool in the times we're in. Also, Altoids. Altoids, Altoids. How about a little magnet? I got this one at Dollar Tree. It says, you are my best friend. It's my little Sophie stick. Um... Now, I have issues with magnets, like they never hold up what I need them to hold up. So this, this one is, I added a magnet to the back, a stronger one. And, oh gosh, I bought some of this so long ago. How about this cute back scratcher? I think it extends out to six inches. Or a pocket it's like a, oh it's a key ring back scratcher how fun is that my husband's always like can you itch my right shoulder blade now he can itch his own here we have a shadow swap pan so when you do eyeshadow if you need to use the same brush you swirl it around in here it cleans it off and you use it in a new shadow with no old shadow residue and this might be for me too. <laughs> um, then you can clean the sponge. It says the sponge is reusable and can be cleaned by washing thoughtfully. Should that say thoroughly? It says it should be cleaned by washing thoughtfully and leaving to air dry. Never really seen it worded that way. Hmm. $3 at five below. Um, I can promise you they're a lot more expensive at Ulta or Sephora or wherever. What else do we have here? These. Now, I, I bought these probably two months ago. And I've used them for my own stuff, so I know they work well. Ammonia-free formula, 20 sheets. They're pre-moistened tech wipes. I use them on my laptop screen, my phone screen, my tablet screen, um, and that's what they're for. Do not mistake these for antibacterial or anything like that wipes. These are simply for exactly what they say, pre-moistened tech wipes, screens, etc. And last but not least, the old standby, this also came from Target hand and body scrub. Now I personally like a good hand and body scrub, but that's me. This one is in Berry Blossom. Oh yeah, Berry Blossom. So there you go. I would love to know if there is some amazing thing I'm missing for stockings, 
So let me know in the comments or let me know if you buy these same things or what you put in your stockings because I think it's so fun and stockings are hands down my favorite thing every Christmas to fill and let me tell you another secret about in our family. My husband already had this tradition when we met. For instance, here, this gets wrapped. Everything in the stockings get wrapped. And it used to be that he would get like a bag of those miniature candy bars or whatever, and he'd wrap every single one. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So we are, we're arthritic now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> But we don't always do that anymore. But um, with stockings, we have a blast with stockings. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed and maybe got a few ideas. And, and make sure to stick a hand sanitizer in everybody's. And I will talk to you later. In the meantime, as always, don't forget to eat good food. Bye, everybody. Bye.